of all the star facts of Mars, I thought I'd show you an example of why Hollyweird is growing less and less relevant every day in the entertainment industry. It's because they don't entertain. Class acceptance of the KKK, these movie, movies have something to say. Well, I'm sorry, I want to be entertained. I don't want to be preached to. That's why I make my Mars Station series that nobody watches. It's designed for entertainment. Duh! Hollywood tends to pack summer with escapist flicks, popcorn movies that have little to do with the real world unless you consider rampaging dinosaurs pressing societal problems. That is bullshit. But these five socially conscious films are sneaking into cinemas and each has something to say. Something compelling to say. They're garbage! Sorry to bother you. This surrealistic comedy starring unpronounceable Stanfield and Tessa Thompson is earning rave reviews for wicked social satire and race, class, and capitalism. In other words, it's communism. Wine spotting. This dramedy is likewise set in Oakland and takes on similar timely themes with a more dramatic tone. Real life childhood friends David David Diggs and Raphael Castle co-wrote and co-produced and co-star in the film the gentrifying Bay Area serving as backdrop to the action. I wonder if they showed the uh, poops that are everywhere in San Francisco. I suppose they wouldn't show that. But this is poop. That's all it is. Far from the tree. Also opening July 20th. Documentary Far from the Tree. Directed by Rick, Rachel Dreitzen. That explores families where the apple fell far from the tree. In other words, situations where children differ significantly from their parents because of autism, Down syndrome, dwarfism, transgenderism, or other characteristics. Who cares? I want to be entertained. I'm mostly in sci-fi and horror, but I want to be entertained. I don't want to hear this garbage. Night comes in. Jordana Spiro makes her feature directorial debut with the critically acclaimed Night Comes In, opening on August 3. It's garbage! Described as a female revenge drama, the film revolves around Angel Lemire, played by Dominique Fishback, who, after a release from Juvie Hall, goes on a mission to sell scores with her father. Garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. White Klansman, the question of racism and trench white supremacy pervades Spike Lee's garbage film, Black Klansman. You getting the point here? Howling Weird is only putting out leftist propaganda. It's all they're doing. Uh, this is why white people make their own stuff without politics, like <clears throat> like I do with Mars Station. I'm not trying to tell anybody to do something I don't do. Mars Station is my thing. It's free from politics, free to watch, and free from copyright, and nobody watches it. Very few people watch it. It's real science fiction. This is garbage. Pure, under Overrated garbage. Holly Weird is becoming less and less relevant, and this is why. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.